Are you ready for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ? The greatest prophecy in the Bible is not far from fulfillment. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them on the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Are you ready for his return? Someday soon, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, life will be suddenly changed for all of us. Events unspeakably strange and startling will occur with amazing rapidity. Speeding trains will plunge unsuspecting passengers into a black eternity as Christian engineers are snatched from the throttle. Operations will be halted midway as believing surgeons are caught up to be forever with the Lord. Even the ordinary routine of life will have its annoying interruptions. There will be milk deliveries unmade. There will be stores remaining closed. Transportation service will be greatly impaired by the absence of Christian motormen. Housework will be left undone because Christian maids have been promoted to higher realms. After the rapture, there will be broken homes with fathers missing from some. Mothers missing from others. Babies snatched from others. In some homes, Bible lovers, even as they read the blessed word, will be transported into the very presence of the one of whom they read. Churches will be the scene of much confusion and bewilderment. In some, unsaved people will wait anxiously for Christian pastors who fail to make their appearance at Sunday service. Death will be robbed of its prey as those asleep in Christ are raised to meet him in the air. What will the rapture mean to Christians? To some, it will mean joyful relief from suffering and pain, from weeping and sighing, from heartbreaking poverty, from disappointment, To all Christians, the rapture will mean removal from the presence of sin. Drinking, murder, gambling, unbelief. To all Christians, it will mean release from wars and rumors of war. That's the joyful side of it, Christian. But there is also another side of the picture, a tragically sad side. After the rapture, we will have no more opportunity to tell the lost of Jesus to think that some will be left to go through unspeakable torment because you and I fail to tell them of Jesus. Your son, perhaps. Or your daughter. Your husband. Your wife. your closest pal, your fellow worker, your neighbor, and to think 
that their blood will be required at your hand. Remember that after the rapture, there will be no more opportunity to pass out tracts. to preach about the Lord Jesus Christ. To give to missions. To pray for the lost. Christians are you ready for the Lord's return? Will he find you busily engaged in fulfilling his purpose for you? Redeeming the time because the days are evil? Living your life for him? Will he find you watching and waiting for his return? Christian, are you ready for his return? Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Unsaved friend, are you ready for the Lord's return? What will the rapture mean to you? It will mean that you will be left behind to pass through tribulation such as the world has never seen. For then shall there be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. You think the world is seeing tribulation now, war, famine, pestilence. This is nothing compared with what shall be then. The sea will become as blood of a dead man and all life within it will die. Rivers and fountains will be turned into blood. Men will be scorched with great heat. Men will be covered with noisome and grievous sores. The islands of the sea will fade away. There will be lightning and thunder. such as was not since man was upon the earth. Are you ready to pass through all these horrible experiences and then go on to a black eternity? Or are you ready now to accept the Lord Jesus as your savior and be caught up to meet him in the air when he comes for his own? How do you become one of his own? But as many as received him, to them gave you power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Why not accept him as your savior and write in the tablets of your heart, even so, Come quickly, Lord Jesus, I am ready. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh.